Hello and welcome to Project Breakout. I'm Kevin Lindenmuth and I'll be teaching you how not to spend money on a low budget movie. The very first thing is the script. You want to make sure that you incorporate everything that you have available to you. I mean you're not going to write a script about a, you know, a castle on an alien world you know, if you don't have that available to you and you're not able to do those effects. So you know, what you are going to have is you're going to have a house or a building. Um, you know, just make a list of everything you have available, any cool location, you know, park, nearby park, forest, whatever, and try to incorporate it into the script just to give it, you know, the best visuals um, and give you the best production value. When I was writing the Alien Agenda movies, um, I wrote in an abandoned building. And, you know, while I didn't have access to an abandoned building, I did have access to a floor of the building I was working in that was under construction. So there was like pipe sticking out of the wall or a wire sticking out of the wall. It really looked like it was a derelict place. And you know it was perfect and it added a lot of production value to the movie. Also try to keep all the locations close to each other. I mean you don't want to have one location you know a hundred miles from another one. Uh, you know just make sure they're all within you know fairly quick driving distance or subway distance whatever from each other. So you, you cut down on the time you cut down on the whole logistics of scheduling everybody to show up at a certain place and time, and it just makes things a lot easier. So, so basically, write for the locations that you have, and also try to keep those locations as few as possible. You're probably going to be shooting in video and digital. Digital tapes are pretty cheap, you know, anywhere from you know three to five dollars for a tape. You're probably going to be shooting about twenty tapes if it's a feature. Uh, in terms of equipment, equipment's become far less expensive. If you're not going to be buying a camera or an edit system, find somebody who has it. Exploit your local, you know, film students at the local colleges. Put an ad in the paper. Again, you could probably get them to do it for free for the experience. Um, you know, work out whatever deal you have to. But uh, again, try to keep it as you know budget conscious as possible. With your first movie, you don't need to pay actors. Um, just be upfront about this with them. You might have to throw them some gas money or whatever. Um, but you know, you can find people from the local colleges or the local theater group, or put an ad online or whatever. Uh, just be very, you know, clear and upfront, and definitely have them sign release forms. With actors, you want to start with the most people first. So if you have a scene that has ten people in it, uh, you want to do those first because they're the most complicated and probably the hardest to do. Uh, so as a production goes on, you have fewer and fewer people. For example, if you have one actor who's in three scenes, and the scene's at the beginning, in the middle, and the end of the movie, well, you, want, you don't want to keep that guy hanging around for like three weeks. You only want to use him for a couple of days. So I would just try to coordinate those scenes he's in within the same couple of days so that you know he's pretty much finished early. So the plan is, is as the production goes on, you have fewer and fewer people you have to deal with. And that way it kind of ensures, you know, any actor kind of bailing out at you at the last minute because you don't want to have to go back and, you know, have a scene where you shot with an actor two scenes and he's not available for the third scene, which is necessary. And then you're going to have to go back and reshoot all those three scenes with a different actor. It's kind of a nightmare. So basically it's kind of almost like an insurance of just, you know, making sure that you get all their scenes, that they're done, and then you move on. Food is probably going to be your biggest expense because, you know, a well-fed actor is a happy actor. You know, if they're not getting paid, the least you could do is feed them. So just make sure that, you know, they're well-fed. You have snacks, soda, stuff to drink on the set. You know, if you're shooting during lunch, take your lunch break, order pizza. And the best thing is to have the food delivered to the location, not to go to a restaurant or out to the location. Um, that way it saves a bit of time. If you have any special effects or anything like that, you want to do them all at the beginning. You want to do the most difficult shots first, the ones that are hardest to get the most intense, um, because you want it easier as the production goes on. You don't want to just like leave it and go, oh, we'll just worry about that later, we'll just do that later, and then you know when later comes, you're going to have all the stuff to do. So just knock out all the hard stuff first. The most difficult the things are going to take the most time, the most money, um, just so you get the most of your budget and make sure that you could actually do those things you need to do for the movie and then just leave all the other stuff you know later on so you know attack it you know w with the most work first the most actors the harder locations and then basically kind of like check them off your list as you're going through your movie uh, so that by the time that you're finishing your movie you know you're done with most of your actors you're done with all your effects you've used up most of your locations and it's just basically 
you know, you could just take your time and, and do it right. Uh, and that's the important thing is to do the movie, you know, the best possible movie you could do with the budget that you have. And, and that's, you know, all you can do. Um, and I've done this, you know, many times with my own productions. Basically, you know, you got a couple thousand bucks or whatever, and you're just doing the best you could do. Um, but hey, that's uh, low budget production. Thanks for watching. I'm Kevin Lindemuth on behalf of Project Breakout. Tune in again for more career advancing advice.